Hi everyone, welcome to Prep Vision. So this video will be for third year students. Okay, third year students who are preparing for gate examination. Now there would be two kind of third year students. Like one would be who who is going to give gate 2026 examination as a serious attempt. Like sir, even if it is my third year, but still I am going to give it as a serious attempt. I have done my eight to nine subjects. I am confident enough with the subject, and sir, I am confident that at least under 500 rank I would be getting. In fourth year, sir, I will be looking for something else. I might be looking for internships or placements or whatever it is but uh, 2026 is going to be my serious attempt then you should not be watching this video okay you are preparing prepare in a good manner keep on revising whatever the strategy you are having just follow that particular strategy and you will be able to do well in the gate examination but this video is for those guys those third year students who are going to give uh, gate 2026 examination but serious attempt will be 2027 because after that they will be in the fourth year so serious attempt would come in the fourth year but as of now in the third year as well, sir, I will give the examination. I have also filled the form because, because I know that in fourth year, I need to write down the examination in a serious attempt. So this video is for mainly those kind of students. Okay. Now what you guys are doing and yesterday I saw a comment as well and I keep on talking to my students as well. What they say is that, sir, three to four months are left in these three to four months. I want to do some courses such that I will be able to clear the cutoff. So, sir, what I would do is that, sir. 15 marks of aptitude I will do, sir, from some crash courses I will do 13 marks of uh, mathematics, from some crash courses I will do network analysis and uh, digital electronics, uh, this is how, sir, somehow I will clear the cutoff from the crash courses, is it good enough, sir? Absolutely wrong, okay? These four months are actually very important for you and 90% of the third year student, 90% or more than 90% of the third year student would be wasting those four months, uh, these four months, which four months? November, December, January, February. They will be wasting these four months just in doing all these things, just for the sake of clearing the cutoff. Look, you are pretty sure that you are going to write down gate examination in fourth year, right? So whatever that you are getting from third year, the same thing you will be getting from the fourth year as well. Now you like, there could be 1% of the guys who would be thinking that, sir, if I clear the cutoff, I may get a better placement. Absolutely not. There would not be a single company who would be thinking that, okay, this guy has cleared gate cutoff. So. I, th I think I should give them priority. Absolutely not. Okay. Doesn't matter at all. Even if you are having rank 10, your rank 10 would also not matter in your placements. So don't think that uh, some companies would be giving you preference just because you have cleared the cutoff. Okay. So it will not uh, hype up your CV. You might feel like that, sir, my CV will be very strong if I clear the cutoff. Absolutely not. Okay. If someone has said you so, then it is complete lie. Okay. Now, secondly, why do you want to clear the cutoff, sir, just for the sake of confidence? First thing is that if you study in this manner that sir I will be studying some crash courses and all and I will be able to clear the cutoff then you might not be able to clear the cutoff. And secondly if you study in this manner let's just say some crash courses of mathematics I did some crash courses of aptitude some crash courses of network analysis digital electronics and sir I will write down the gate examination then what will happen is that eventually you you will have to follow full courses as well. Today I am doing the crash courses of mathematics but when I am preparing for 27 examination it's not that that uh, that knowledge of crash courses will be helpful. No, I will have to do that particular subject comprehensively as well. Again, I will have to do comprehensively. So why do you waste your time of these four months? What should be the ideal way? If you are done with one or two subjects, you should have the confidence that sir, I will be revising those one to two, one to two subjects. Now, sir, I am having a time of roughly around 90 days, 80 to 90 days are, days are left for gate examination. So sir, sir, till the end of January, Till the end of January, sir, I will be learning in a manner that my final examination will be on February 2027. Always remember your final examination is on February 2027. In between whatever the examination is falling in, I don't care about that. Final examination, February 2027. So till January 2026, I will be studying in a manner that I am preparing for February 2027 only. Sir, 15 days would be there. In those 15 days, I can cover some... Uh, like high yield topics I can cover, like this is an important topic I can cover that or I can simply revise whatever that I have studied. I can write down some test series or I can write down full and test series as well just to see that how much I am performing, how I am performing in full and test, like where do I stand. So those 15 days you can give for 26 because most probably our examination will be on 14th or 15th. So those 13, 14 days you can give for 26 but till January 31, sorry, till 31st January 2026. I don't want you to look for 2026 examination. I want you to look for 2027 examination because my main target is gate 2027, not 2026. 
no matter wh wh whoever around you is doing this crash course, that crash course. I'm not saying anything against the crash courses. Crash courses are helpful for which kind of students? As I say, there is some student who have who has covered six subjects as of now. Four subjects are left. Now he feels like that, sir, from four subjects, I can do two su subjects comprehensively, but two subjects will be left. Now, sir, should I drop those two subjects? Then the answer would be no. Don't drop do those two subjects. At least study those subjects sir, in comprehensive or in surface level. Okay. So for that, you can follow the crash courses. So if he is left with four subjects, then two subjects comprehensively and two subjects from the crash courses he can do. And in the manner he can give that fair attempt in the gate examination. So that's where crash courses are helpful. But you are currently in third year. That means you can cover all 10 subjects comprehensively in the best possible manner. So why do, why are you running behind crash courses as of now? Why you are running behind courses on the surface level? Right? Because you have more than enough time left. Right? And you should be doing all the courses comprehensively. Even if you, today you do some crash courses, then eventually you will do those full courses as well. Today I am doing a crash course of network analysis. Eventually I will do the full course of network analysis as well. Because that crash course knowledge will not be helpful to solve good level of question paper. Right? Crash courses, crash courses are helpful just only for that particular sake that sir what if I have dropped this particular subject and in the examination from this particular subject only easy questions were asked. Right? And if only easy questions were asked that means I was on the back foot. Because everyone was attempted to, everyone actually attempted those questions. So that's why crash courses are helpful that at least I am not dropping the whole subject. I will be able to attempt the easy questions. Now what if sir I attempted only four Let's just say some third year student is there. He has studied crash courses of mathematics, aptitude, network analysis and digital electronics. And luckily what really happened in the gate examination, all those four subjects were asked on easy level only. From those four subjects, sir, 40 marks of question came. All were very easy. Sir, I was able to get 30 marks out of those 40 marks. Sir, I am confident in those four subjects. Now that confident would be a, that confidence will be a fake confidence. Because this year those subjects came on the easier level. Who knows next year they can come on the tougher level as well. Right? So you are currently in third year. You just consider that you are having 14 months for February 2026. And if you are having 14 months, then surely you will be doing, doing all the subjects in a comprehensive manner only. Okay? Even if like we are bringing RPYQ series, revision series, that series, this series. I always say third year guys will not follow this. Third year guys will do everything comprehensively because you are already starting on an early level only. And if you follow these revision and all these kind of series in four months, you will be just wasting your four months of time. That is very, very important for you. In these four months of time, what I would be preferring as a student, I would be preferring that, sir, if I have covered two subjects, I will revise those two subjects. And in this three month of time, like roughly, I would say three months of time is there. And I would say that uh, like till 31st January, I'll be preparing. So around uh, 70 days I'm having. In these 70 days, sir, I will be able to cover two subjects comprehensively. It could be mathematics, it could be digital electronics. Two subjects I have already covered, sir. Network analysis is already done. Analog accuracy is already done. Sir, two months are left. What I would do? Sir, I would cover engineering mathematics and digital electronics. Right? Sir, in the last 15 days, what I can do? I can study some aptitude and I can see what all important topics are there or what I can do is that I can simply revise whatever that I have studied and based on based on that I will give go to my examination and I will give a fair attempt in the examination. What I would do is that sir I will be my I should have that kind of confidence that I will be able to solve all the questions from digital electronics, mathematics, network analysis and uh, analog electronics and aptitude. This would be my target in the examination. Also. So this is how you need to proceed. Or even if I'm starting right now as well, let's just say I'm starting right from the zero. Still, I would not be saying that, sir, engineering mathematics aptitude I will do. And in the examination, I will go and I'll be able to clear the cutoff. No, I will pick engineering mathematics if I want to. And one course subject I will pick that could be network analysis or signal system or digital electronics, whatever it is. Okay. So those two subjects I will pick. I will cover those two subjects in best possible comprehensive manner. Even if it is taking more time, I don't care about that. Till the day of examination, even if I'm not able to cover those two subjects, still it is fine for me. I will not rush into the subjects. I will be studying those subjects in a best possible, in the best possible depth manner. Okay. And then whatever the time is left, if I feel like that, sir, uh, let's just say examination is on 14th of Feb. So from 10th Feb onwards, I will be starting studying about general aptitude. So I can study general aptitude and uh, with in the examination, I will go just in a manner that, okay, this is the question paper would be coming and I need to attempt whatever that I know. So whatever that I know, I would attempt that and I would give a fair attempt in my examination. That should be the temperament. I hope you are able to understand what I am saying in this video. 
so those four subjects those four months which you are left with you should be utilizing those four months in a smart manner okay so no matter whatever the guys around you you are doing they might be saying that we need to get this rank that rank this is how we will get it this is how we will clear the cut off don't listen to them and just study in a good manner study as if my final attempt will be on february 2027 okay then yeah thank you very much happy learning